Welcome back guys. So back again in the front view. Here's where I'm going to start drifting a little bit off from the reference. So I'm going to create a sketch in the 2D background. I figured this was too plain and I want to spice it up so I'm going to use the line tool to kind of create a trapezoid shape. So something around here and let's just close this off. Now I'm going to right click hit OK and I'm going to left click hold to select the profile. Now I can right click press pull. And I'm just going to drag this arrow to about here. And also I want to change it from a uh, cut to new body and as well as uh, change it from one side to uh, two sides so I can ensure that this goes along both sides and it pulls through so let's hit OK now what I want to do is go to create pattern pattern on path ensure the pattern type is body select our body and for the path I'll just choose this line here and let's grab our blue arrow and let's bring it to somewhere about here Let's change the quantity to something around I guess seven or six is fine. Let's hit OK. Now we'll do combine, select our main body, and let's select all of these bodies here. Change from join to cut, and let's hit OK. And that just made it look a bit more interesting versus being flat. So now what we'll do is go to modify. Uh, we could chamfer this. So let's grab uh, this edge here by itself and let's hit OK and we'll just uh, create another sketch on the 2D background and let's work on this trigger here so let's use the two point rectangle and just draw a giant rectangular shape which we can then afterwards select the entire sketch and rotate this and let's just line this up with the reference a bit better so somewhere around here that's good right there right click hit OK and we'll just drag this up to ensure uh, it's covered and drag this out to the very edge and we'll grab our line tool and we'll just start uh, creating this shape of the trigger so you know we're going to be switching to our famous arc here in a second so go to create arc three point arc and we're going to get that round shape and we can always use a spline guys so you're not always you don't always have to use this but I just use it because it's more convenient and easier to use switching back to the line tool now instead of using the scissors to trim off this area those extra lines we're just gonna press pull this surface to get the shape we need just to show you guys so you don't always have to do that I just do it because uh, it's good practice so once we have half this body we can press pull that sketch now what I want to do is press F to go into fillet mode and I want to round off some of these shapes here, some of these corners. I'll just grab these three here and just pull these inwards. That looks okay. Now back in the front view, what I'll do is select this surface and uh, we can, well actually we'll duplicate this. So control C, control V, hit okay and we'll toggle off one of the copies. So now what I want to do is combine. I want to combine this guard handle with the trigger. And that's going to get you a nice little cutout shape here. And what I'm now going to do is uh, just bring this back a little bit more so we have some room to actually pull it to pull the trigger. And I'm going to hit F to go into fillet mode. I'm going to round off some of these edges. So let me turn off this canvas so we can see what we're doing. And I'm just selecting these edges here so I can round them off. And that looks good here. Now let's turn back on our duplicate here. Now we have that. Now let's select the surface and create a sketch. Now I want to use the offset tool here so I can offset this perimeter and just copy it and make it a little bit smaller so we can give it some thickness. So let's just select the new profile and press pull. We're going to pull this inwards so we can cut the shape from the existing trigger. Let's change it to new body so we don't cut anything extra off. And now we'll combine the trigger with the smaller body inside. Now we have that nice little cutout. So now let's create a sketch, select our 2D background, and let's use our two point rectangle. And I'm gonna create a uh, long rectangular shape, which will later be revolved to create a cylinder. And here's where I'm veering a little bit off of the reference, cause I wanna add a little bit more of my personal style to this piece. So let's finish sketch and let's go to revolve and let's just revolve this profile. That looks good. Now let's go to the body strap down, select the body by right click and go to move and we'll just bring this down to about here. 
and this is going to uh, add add some uh, you know some complexity to it and make it look a bit unique. So we're going to press pull this to make it a bit longer and ensure that it extends beyond the uh, body underneath it. Now what we're going to do is go to combine combine the main body with the cylindrical piece we just created and set it to cut. Now we have this little shape here. So when you're looking down that reticle, you actually see that uh, that scan line. So now we'll create a sketch on the 2D background once again, and now let's follow the actual reference so we can cut this little shape out. So all we're doing is really just spicing it up a bit, adding our own little flavor to it. Now we'll go to modify split body, and we'll split that body by that line. So we can now go to the layers and uh, let me turn this canvas off. Now we'll select that body, we'll right click and remove it. Now we can toggle the canvas back on. And if we want to, we could fill it this right now. So let's just do that. Let's hit F and fill it these edges. Sorry guys if I'm talking really fast. Like I'm trying to get through this and uh, explain it properly so you guys can understand what I'm doing and understand the madness behind it. <laughs> So now that we're done with that, what we'll now do is uh, start working on some more sketching. So we'll create a sketch, select the 2D background, and what I want to now do is use our line tool, or we could have used a two-point rectangle. That probably would have been smarter, but I want to switch it up. So I'm just going to create this little rectangular shape of my own. And let's press pull this profile now. I'm just going to press pull this out to somewhere about yonder. That looks good. Change it from cut to new body. And let's go to draft this out. Let's go to modify draft. We'll select this top face first, then the side. And just adjust this to give it a unique style. That looks good. Now let's go back to the front view. And let's rinse and repeat. Let's add some more details to something. Now what do I want to do? I guess this area here, we'll select that surface and create a sketch. Let's use our two-point rectangle to mimic this reference cutout. Little box cut shape here. Right click it OK and we'll just press pull these both of these surfaces or uh, profiles and pull them down. And we have the nice little cut that looks great. Especially for the blackout stage of it. So what I like what I now like to do is go to the body and I want to actually move this move it out a bit something around here and let's just duplicate this so we'll select it control C control V and let's um let's hit okay let's toggle off the, the duplicate and let's go to modify combine and let's remove this shape from here we get that nice little cut out there and let's press pull this to bring it in for a bit more depth so it looks like it's manufactured to fit this knob here and let's toggle this back on so it fits perfectly right there. And don't worry, we're going to add more details later on. So let's right click on this. And what I want to do is isolate this. I'm going to add my own personal little detail to this. And I want to use the circle diameter circle right on the perimeter of this circle and create a little mini circle. And we'll just press pull this to the other side. We'll change it from cut to new body. And what I want to do now is let's just extrude this or pull this back a little further. So we know it doesn't, you know, it extends beyond the body. So let's create a circular pattern of this pipe. And let's select this ring. And let's just upscale this uh, quantity to something around 23. Or we can do a number like uh, 30. That looks good. So let's go to combine, select the main body. And let's select the one right underneath it. And then shift select the last one here. That will give us this nice little shape which is really good. So let's right click and unisolate this knob. We're making some great progress guys. So let's select this surface here and I want to create a sketch. Now let's use the, we can use the spline or the arc. So I'll we'll just go to the arc for now and from this area here we'll just click once and here we'll click again. And I'm just basically uh, going to cut this shape here. So I'm just going to press pull this I'm going to press pull this to about somewhere around here just to give it some more intricacy so it looks like it's actually uh, supposed to be housing the barrel. 
and we're going to combine this main body with that little piece we just created to cut that out uh, damaging the barrel itself and once we uh, mirror this side it'll, it'll make more sense to you guys so just understand there is a reason behind the things that I'm doing so let's select this flat surface here and create a sketch and what I want to do with this is use uh, the circle diameter circle tool to get like a cylindrical shape that I will be moving here in a second so we'll select it and right click go to move and let's just move it to somewhere around here I'm going to shift select this one and left click and hold to select the other half and press pull this to somewhere about here where we can't see it yeah that looks good right about here so let's change from cut to new body hit OK and let's combine the main body with that piece we just created and select cut now let's select this surface and create a sketch in the front now we're going to use the two point rectangle to make a giant box so it's kind of follow my reference what I'm doing here I'm going to shift select both of these and press pull and we're going to press pull this to somewhere around here so in the front view it would be around here now let's change the operation from cut to new body hit OK. Now I want to just uh, select the body, right click and go to move and let's just move this down to somewhere around here. Let's hit OK. Now we're going to combine the main body with the body we just created and change it to cut. And now if you see what we just did was added some more depth to this. So the last thing we'll do before taking it off is just adjust this a bit further. We're just press pulling this to be a little bit more dramatic. And I'll catch you guys in the next 